Come here, I've got something to show you guys. This beauty right here, this is Monotropa uniflora, also known as ghost pipe. This is a non-photosynthetic plant, which is why we have the white coloring, no green. There is absolutely no chlorophyll because this plant does not get energy from the sun. Instead, this plant grows at the cross sections between specific tree roots and mycelium. Mycelium is the underground portion of a mushroom, which is the main part of a mushroom. The uh, mushroom that you see above ground is actually only the sexual organ, which is used for reproduction. And um, yeah, so when, that's why when you pluck up mushrooms, they're just going to come back later because the mycelium is all underground. So this plant is often referred to as parasitic because it pulls up nutrients from the mycelium and from the tree roots. I think that there is a more mutual benefit though because I feel that they work kind of as this nervous system connector spiritually with the forest. And I'll get into that in a minute. But some trees that they commonly grow at the cross points of are holly trees. We have holly leaves here hickories, we have some hickory nuts here, and beech trees. We've got some beech trees up there. And then I often find them near Rasula. So the Rasula mushroom, which we don't see any right now because the mycelium is underground and we don't have any of the fruiting bodies of the mushroom up, but I find them to grow at those points. So this plant was worked with by indigenous people. This plant has spiritual use and it's just, it's so magical. It's crazy to see an all white, non photosynthetic plant. And when the plant first starts up, we have these little, they look like pipes. And then as it grows taller, they grow into these long cylindrical shapes. <laughs> up here, we have the flowers and the seed pods. And I do not recommend working with this plant medicinally if you don't know what you're doing or honestly if you're not indigenous um, or at least extremely experienced in herbalism and have done a lot of study. So the toxicity level of ghost pipe Monotropa uniflora is not known and when it is worked with in modern day it's often worked with in tinctures in one drop doses that is how i've personally worked with the plant i'm not recommending this i'm just sharing for informational purposes because i find the information interesting and when i do work with the plant i only take one from every 10 and if there's not a large amount of the plant around then i won't take from it and i always ask permission first um yeah, but a great way to work with plants is also to just commune with them, to be with them, to feel them, to feel their energy, to be here. You don't have to kill or eat or drink a plant in order to work with it. You can meditate with it. You can sit and do what's called attunement, where you feel the energy of the plant and you put your energy towards that plant. So... That's a way we can work with them. Uh, they were used medicinally as a nervine sedative, used for like when people got really crazy and their mind was going kind of wild. Um, it works for physical pain in the nervous system in a similar way to emotional pain, helping you bear the weight of it, get through things. And that's done in like one drop doses. I've also seen someone take them the tincture to a music festival and when people were tripping out, due to too much or tainted drugs, they gave them drop doses, one to three drops of the monoflora, sorry, monotropa uniflora, the ghost pipe tincture to get them centered, get that nervous system back in track, back in balance. So this is definitely one of my favorite plant spirits. I just love how mystical and wild it is because it's like, it's kind of a plant, but kind of not. There's no chlorophyll. There's no, it doesn't receive any energy from the sun. It's pooling up from the mushrooms, from the tree roots. And it's not a mushroom. It produces seeds, it doesn't spore. So it's just like this wild 
thing in the middle and that's what makes it so mystical and I love that okay so I hope you guys enjoyed learning about ghost pipe monotropa uniflora this amazing plant spirit if you see them out you can sit with them you can meditate and just feel that energy all right anyways happy full moon